What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19. Here, of course, Fenton Forest by Stevie. I had to really focus on that one. Not gonna lie, Fenton Forest by Stevie, and of course, it's Farm Sim 19. Guys, how are y'all doing? Welcome back. Sorry for like, well, I guess I only missed one upload, basically, right? Yeah. Anyway, I am back and better than ever or something. More tired than ever. Uh, appreciate comments from the last video. Tons of comments. I love seeing them all. Uh, a couple of ones I wanted to address. I did screw up the title. I will own that. Uh, Carson, with your nose's internet's bad. You know, and still recorded an hour long video. Yeah, it happened. You know, I was just having, I was just having a good time, my guy. I was just having a good time. Okay. I'm just saying. Uh, Rob, you were pointing at the screen. I have them pulled up. Can you guys tell? Uh, to tell me where Field 27 is. Is it bad I don't remember anymore? 20, 27. I founded it. <laughs> oh, man. So I have, like, not played Farm Sim this week. And actually, I forgot about this. I have missions going right now. I have some cultivating missions going. Because they're worth a lot of money, you know? So I might as well. I have not touched Farm Sim since Saturday when I recorded the last video, I think. Maybe Monday. I don't remember. Anyway, um, another one from Rob was the internet. It, it, it is back. It is back. We'll get into that in detail in a second. Um, I think I should go with the plow at the end. Okay. No, that's not what I want to do. This one. Hit the wrong button. Uh, plow at the end. One second. We'll we'll check on that as well. I uh, appreciate all the comments from last week, guys, even if I didn't uh, address it directly. But I still... I still appreciate it, you know? Nonetheless, I didn't look at how this field was... Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Okay. You just need to, like, go... Just go start from the first waypoint again. Whatever. It's fine. So it puts a little wear and tear on a tractor and, and cultivator stuff. Whatever. Whoopie do, right? Anyway, um, those are those missions. We did some other ones as well. I was kind of taking anything over like a hundred thousand ish dollars or, or over twenty thousand on the cultivating missions. Um, is what I was kind of after. So actually, hey. Field twenty two. 22 ooh, that's down here ooh, ooh. oh god that's potatoes too oh oh can you imagine can you imagine oh oof that's all i have to say all right let's uh go get 22 going on uh fertilizer guy here and then we'll well yeah uh i did not derp with course play my course play was outdated i have updated well i've downloaded it let me put it that way <laughs> I downloaded the update. Okay. I haven't actually put it in my mod folder. I kind of forgot about that. Not going to lie. I definitely forgot about that. Uh, 22. Ooh, ooh. Go ahead and set up that waypoint or that course. Let's go generate it up, boys. Oh, let me tell you guys. Uh, speaking of the internet, first things first there, internet. We'll get to the plow in a second as well. Internet internet okay oh i got the cotton done too obviously and by the way this is totally my fs17 truck little feather i think that was you right yeah little feather yeah i didn't think about it it's not quite the john deere in the red like i used to do oh it's basically the same thing no you're not wrong um so as far as the internet goes yeah <laughs> So, actually, let's let's find a task we can work on first. Hang on, because we don't actually have... Okay, so here, here's what we got going. Here's what we have cooking. Okay, let's run through the fields real fast, then we'll find a task. Then I'll talk about my internet. Three and five have been cut. It's not dry yet. It's still... It's still grass. We're trying to make hay. Two, 43, and one have all been fertilized, cultivated. 
build one needs lime. So I think I'm going to lime that. That's actually a good job for this little tractor. Let's work on that uh, task and then we'll move on. So I think I'm just going to let this dry. It probably needs to lay out a day, the the hay here. So I'm just not going to touch that, honestly. I think I fertilized them, though. Yeah, I did fertilize them once just to, because I can, basically. So there's that. All right. Um, internet. You guys were watching last Saturday's stream. Actually, the last time I streamed. Uh, which, by the way, I will be streaming tonight, 6 p.m. or so central. Twitch.tv slash Puma Plow. We're going to be playing Farm Sim. I'm just I'm just diving back into Farm Sim for Friday. And then uh, I should be all day Saturday as well. Like noon to 10 on Saturday. So a lot of farming, but that's okay. It's all good from the Alpine DLC. It's going to be a good time. Anyway, so during the stream, like during the day, my internet had kind of hiccuped once or twice. And I just kind of thought, okay, it's not a big deal. No big deal. You guys remember it was back in September, apparently, because that's what Spectrum told me. And I, I believe them because they had it on their computer right in front of the guy. Uh, sometime in September, I think it was late September, I had a technician come out. He replaced about three feet of coax cable in my backyard. And um, it was chewed with squirrels. So water gets in the line. Boom. No good just not good you know so there was that i just like left that tractor sitting right there didn't i well good job john um so fast forward now a little bit actually we want to go ahead and get this uh fertilizer out of this thing as well we're just going to keep this thing on lime uh probably for the for the remainder um we'll clean that up with the tipper and put it in our storage later anyway so i called up Okay, so actually, Saturday afternoon, it hiccuped a couple times. I stopped the stream, I restarted my modem, restarted my router, and life was good for like two and a half more hours or something, right? It wasn't a long time, but enough. You know, I mean, it wasn't enough because I wasn't done streaming, but it was it was good for a while. And so I thought to myself, like, okay, this is crazy. You know, it's working. Let's, let's do this. Right. Then it was like seven 30 or something, seven o'clock. So it was six 30, seven o'clock, somewhere in there. And it started getting really bad. And I was like, wow, I'm, I'm just consistently dropping frames. Like it's not even, you know, dropping frames a little bit and then catching itself and dropping frames and catching. No, it was just consistently dropping frames the entire time. So again made the decision to stop stream i don't know if you guys you know people watching stream could even hear that i said hey i'll you know i'm gonna try to come back blah 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 i'll go reset i do remember phil saying because i was like yeah i'm gonna try to reset my i'm gonna go reset my internet and then i remember phil phil said you think that's gonna help and i was like no and boy was i right um my upload went down to like one I was dropping upwards of 70, like 60 to 70% of frames or not frames, but packets, um, that continued and, and actually it got worse Saturday night after I made the video, the last video that you guys saw Sunday, I could barely load like Amazon or Gmail. You could watch YouTube kind of, it buffered a lot. We were dropping 60, 70% of our inbound or our, sorry, our outbound packets Sunday, Monday, part of Tuesday. It worked. It, it would, it, it would have its moments, you know, where it would work. And then it would have a lot of moments where it wouldn't work. And then it would work again for a little bit. And then it would just not work for a long time again. Uh, so that continued. That was Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> which was funny it was working perfect it was beautiful how well it was working it was insane how well it was working um, it was back to its normal speed which my normal speed's about 130 down and roughly 11 upload that is my normal speed i'm to find out through spectrum i'm only on a 100 meg plan so if i get anything over 100 meg that's 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 a bonus right we're only paying for a hundred. So I didn't realize that. 
I'm jumping ahead here a little bit in the story. So I called Spectrum Saturday. They said, hey, we'll have a guy out Tuesday. I said, hey, can you make it Wednesday? I'm not sure what's going on in my life. Tuesday, I'm busy. I may not be home. It was especially, it was like a later, later in the day call. And with us working on Christmas lights and the snowman project and the whole nine, it's like, I don't know if I'm going to be home, you know? So okay, we need to check our cotton price, by the way. Um... So basically, I um, am I looking for him? Basically, I got to the point where, yeah, just had to sit and wait, basically, um, for them to come out. I just, I literally just had to wait for them to come out. You know, I there's nothing I could, uh, there's nothing I could do. Okay, so we need to wait, bills. Yeah, okay, we need to store this. Um, had to just wait for them to come out, and there's nothing I could do about it, basically. Because between Saturday and Wednesday night, we had like an inch and a half to two inches of rain, but it never really came like hard. It was never a hard rain. It just kind of kept kept going, you know. Um, if it wasn't raining, I was working on lights, or we were running to the farm multiple times during those couple days there, working on lights. You know, the snowman project from hell, basically. It's been a thing. Um, yeah, so Wednesday at... It was supposed to be between 5 and 6 o'clock. You guys can probably guess where this is going. The guy didn't show up till like 7.30... Almost 8 o'clock? About 8 o'clock, I guess, yeah. Almost 8 o'clock. He finally showed up. Which, okay, fine. You get behind. I understand. I'm, it's not a concern. I wasn't doing anything else. I was literally sitting around waiting for him to come. Not a big deal. I'm going to fill this shed with uh, cotton, by the way. I think that would be cool, right? Why not? Right? So, dude comes. I, I meet him outside because, you know, he's not coming in my house. I don't want him in my house because of COVID and everything else going on. Mostly just COVID, let's be real. So I meet him outside. I tell him what's go what's going down with the internet. And he's like, all right, bet. <laughs> so he uh, he grabs his little tester machine and he walks to my backyard. And I've got, you know, a cable box on my house, obviously. I think everybody has one that has cable, right? So he disconnects there and he checks it. And I, I went back to my house, actually ate dinner, whatever. And uh, internet then TV were on and off a few times over like 45 minutes or half an hour, however long he was here. And, um, yeah, so he replaced basically in my backyard, my cable is, that actually comes to my house is underground. Okay. But it comes from a pole. We have power lines in my backyard and they also have cable and phone on them. So the guy that was here before replaced the first three feet from the, from the main line, we'll say. Okay. And this guy replaced, I'm assuming he replaced from the main line. I'm pretty sure. I haven't actually gone out there to look, but from the main line to the ground on the pole side of, of the line, right? So he replaced a lot more because that pretty high up there, actually. So he replaced all that. He tested it again. He tested. He, uh, he did come in my little, little studio setup here where our modem is. And uh, he put his little tester on there. I really didn't want him to come in here because, you know, again, COVID. Um, but he kind of insisted that he really needed to to be able to ensure his job, his work, everything, that everything was working, everything. Which actually it ended up being really good. Dude was super cool. Uh, we actually had a chat. Come to find out the dude's a family vlogger on YouTube. Um, I don't know his channel name. I kind of kind of regret not getting his channel name. Just, you know, out of curiosity more than anything. Uh, super chill dude and he's a family vlogger like I said and and he wants to eventually like set up a studio and stream on Twitch and stuff and it was pretty cool it was pretty cool we had we had a good chat while he was like scanning the, the stuff and then uh, I ran a speed test and my upload or my download was pretty pretty bad actually at the time because it just things are kind of getting going again you know and I said well I wish our upload or oh, I wish our download was a little bit better and he goes you're only on 100 meg service. I said, what? <laughs> he goes, you're only on our 100 meg plan. That's that's all that you guys are on. And I was like, oh. 
I said, well, what, what's available in this area? And he goes, well, you can get gig where you live. And I was like, wait, bet, bro, I can get gig at my house. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, well, what's the upload on that? Cause spectrum doesn't advertise upload speeds, of course, cause you know, most people don't use upload. Most people use download and download only for the most part. I mean, you still need a little upload, but you don't need upload. Like, you know, a YouTuber slash streamer needs upload, you know, it's a different world kind of. And so he's like, well, I've seen some in this area in the mid twenties, mid to high twenties upload. And I'm like, bro, that's over double. And then some of what I get right now on a good, really, really, really good day. I get 11 megs up, but we're talking mid twenties. That's better than I get now. I'm like, yeah, bro. And he goes, yeah, and your modem's already the new modem, the new style modem. So all you have to do is pick up the phone and call. Now, obviously, there's going to be a financial hit there, of course, for us. It's going to be going to cost more money to go from, you know, 100 meg to 2,000. Or actually, they advertise it as 940 is what they actually advertise it as. So I'm just like, bro. Okay, so after he left, the first thing I did was I got on the old computer here and I went beep, boop, bop, boop. And, uh, yeah, I looked up Spectrum's website and you punch in, like, my address, which obviously I'm not going to say what it is. One, two, three, Puma Flyway, St. Louis, Mo under the arch, obviously, guys. Come on. And, uh, yeah, so they don't even show a 100 meg plan anymore. The lowest speed plan that they show, at least for my area, is 200. They show a 400 and they show their 940. So I'm like, hey, um, hey, hey, dad, because everything's in his name with Spectrum. I can't <laughs> cough, cough. I can't call Spectrum and, and, you know, ask for help or anything because technically I'm not on the account. But when they ask me my name, I, I tell them my name. Uh-huh. I'm not going to incriminate myself here. <laughs> Wink, wink. You know what I'm getting at, right? So, yeah, he's like, all it takes is a phone call and they can reprogram it from their end and you'll be up and running pretty fast. I'm like, bro. Because if that's the case and then say, okay, say I don't get that speed. I call and complain. You know, there's, I'm sure they have a minimum speed in there. I mean, if they advertise it as up to 940 megs. Well, I'm sure they have a minimum requirement, right? So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe not with Spectrum, but I'm sure they do. So, I just basically need my dad. I know that sounds weird. Need my dad uh, to make a phone call and just be like, hey. Because, honestly, if it's... I don't even mind paying. Like, I, I, told, I told him, I was like, I will pay for all of the internet. I'm not... I don't really want to pay for the TV in my house. because I hardly watch it, but... I'll pay for the internet gladly. I'm, I know I'm the biggest user in, in the whole house. I'm well aware, you know? And, uh, so I just need him to make a phone call and maybe even put my name on the account. I don't know if I can just like, you know, I don't know, pay online with my debit card or something. I don't know how they do it, but I don't mind paying for internet to be completely honest with you guys at all. I, I wouldn't, that wouldn't bother me, you know, but, uh, yeah, so that's kind of the internet saga and a long story, short story long. Um, that's kind of the internet saga. We had a good chat about his YouTube and my YouTube and Twitch and um, technology in general and the new terms of service on YouTube. And he was uh, he was impressed with the with the setup. He liked the six monitors. He called them uh, computers. He's like, "Wow, six computers!" And I'm like, "Well, there's actually." Two Two computers and six screens. And he's like, yeah, but six computers. I was like, yes, I have six computers. You know, sometimes you got to let people just, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, so hopefully that happens soon. And um, it'll really cut down my, uh, my upload time, which would be great. I can stream in higher quality as well. Probably bump it up to 1080. Maybe like a 900p. 900 by 60 frames, you know, look better than 720, right? 
Just saying. But anyway, that's uh, that was that. So Christmas lights, big update there as well. Um, Christmas lights are 99% done. In fact, we kind of made the executive decision. Decision. Well, my dad kind of did, and actually our our neighbor kids, the new the new kids across the street, they kind of decided for me that I had to leave them on tonight. So I'm recording this on Thanksgiving night. It's you know about 11 o'clock at night. We had our little non-Thanksgiving Thanksgiving, basically. It wasn't much of anything, but hey, you know what? I made homemade pumpkin and cherry pies, and that's all I really cared. I made the pie crust the other night. It was it was a good time. I guess, I guess it was a collaborative effort. I made the pie crust. My dad primarily he did the uh, the pie like the filling for the pumpkin pie and the and the cherry. He did that. The crust is the worst part. The other stuff's just measure, dump, stir. You know, the crust you got to work with and roll. And last year, last year was my first year attempting it because obviously the year before mom was still around. Uh, last year was my first year attempting, and it was pretty awful. Pretty awful. But I, I actually am very happy to report that uh, this year, you know, your boy has a few talents in life. Okay, let me just put it this way. Your boy has a couple talents in life, and you guys probably would have never guessed that pie making is one of them. Your boy, roll, and I didn't take any pictures, I should have. Uh, your boy rolled out some beautiful pie crust. I'm just saying. We made two, two pumpkin and a cherry pie. You have to make four crusts total because you put a you, know, you don't put a crust on top of a pumpkin pie. That would just be... No, thank you. But on the cherry pie, of course, you put a lid on it. So you got to make four four things and roll them out and the whole thing. So, yeah, I yeah, I, I did it. I was uh, I was kind of shocked and kind of impressed with myself, to be honest. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. And uh, got it done. You know, really just, just, just got it done. So... Uh, obviously, the, you know, Thanksgiving holidays in general, they're not the same since mom's not around. But, um, you know, we made the best of it. Uh, actually, it was funny because, uh, let's see, Wednesday, dad was off work. So we spent the day together, basically, most of the day. Uh, we actually went to the farm and worked on a few last minute things for the snowman project, which is done. Snowman project is completely done. They look amazing, by the way, just throwing that out there. The neighbor kids, uh, so, hang on, let me back up. Wednesday, we uh, we worked on stuff for the Snowman Project. And Thursday, obviously Thanksgiving Day, I had the lights on pretty much all day because I was out there working on them, so was Dad. Uh, we worked all afternoon on the lights. We went to the farm in the morning for a little bit because we had to get the last-minute touches for the Snowman Project. We had to bring those home. Uh, the mounting system for the hats, basically, rebar and PVC pipe. But anyway... Um, so we brought that home and we got to work out there right away. And, you know, throughout the day, a couple of times the kids came outside and, and I didn't realize they know my name. And now they're just like, Hey, John, and I was like, I, I, I feel, I don't know. I feel weird. Like talking to the kids, you know, I don't know. It's just cause like they're, they're new to the neighborhood. And I kind of just started talking to the people cause I've been outside a lot lately and they've kind of been outside a lot lately. Where am I going with this truck? I don't need this truck right now. I'm done with the truck for now. What am I doing? Um, anyway, it, it's kind of just strange when I just like hear this little voice from across the street. Hi, John. And I'm just like, well, uh, who are you? Very strange. But anyway, I digress. I should have taken a picture of me picking up a bale, huh? Or a thumbnail. Dang it. <laughs> I should have done that. Maybe I'll, I'll stage one after uh, after I get done recording, huh? Yeah, you guys will know that I've had to stage the thumbnail. I try to take a screenshot during the video is what it is. Because uh, I'm actually using real screenshots now. But anyway. Um, so when it got towards dark, I was still out there working on lights. And, and I had, my dad noticed that all three of the kids across the street were sitting in their like living room window staring out looking at the lights. And uh, he's like, you leaving them on tonight? And I was like, no, 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 no. I don't turn them on until, you know. The day after Thanksgiving, Friday, Black Friday, whatever. He's like, why don't you leave them on tonight for the kids? And I was like, okay, let's bet. Let's do it. So we left the lights on. Got them all programmed up on timers now. 
Um, 17,000 ish lights. I actually, I bet you it's a few more than that to be completely honest. And most of them are led. I actually, this is going to be the question of video. How many amps, you know, you have like Watts and amps. I'm, I'm working on amps here. Okay. I could do Watts, but I, I amps, how many amps, uh, in the electrical world, do you guys think I'm drawing across all of the Christmas lights, including inflatables, the snowman project? everything the omg sign that's in casey's yard the two snowmen that are in casey's yard the seventeen thousand lights total roughly i think it's a few more than that most of them are led probably 98 percent led or so uh with uh one two three four five there's five inflatables out there as well Everything. A couple blow molds. They have LED lights in them now, too. Uh, Rudolph's nose is the only C9 uh, incandescent I have. That will stay incandescent. Just saying. How many amps do you guys think I'm drawing across the whole display? Because we figured it out today. Just saying. One of my smart timers. Smart switches, smart timers, whatever. It has. It tells you what you're using consumption-wise through it in real time, which is really cool. I uh, also have a kilowatt where you like plug it in, plug stuff into it. It tells you what it's doing. We have one of those as well. I don't know where it's at right now, but anyway, uh, we'll find it. We'll find it one of these days, but my timer does it. So it doesn't really matter. Anyway, let me know in the comments below how many uh, amps you guys think we're drawing. If somebody gets it correctly, I'll make sure to chat you out in the next video. Be like, hey, you got it right. Just saying, just like that too. Hey, you. Got it right. All right. Uh, I'm going to, before next video, before next video, I am going to do some planting. I will be planting, um, uh, two, one, 20, or what's this one? 43? Jeez. I'm thinking 23. No. And 25. I will be planting all the fields, except for five and three, obviously, because they're grass right now. Uh, eventually, I think I am going to push forward with moving the grass operation to one and eight, planting a small uh, straw crop here every time in 43, and just pick that up, put it in storage. Uh, but I think this next, I, sh I should probably plant something for money. Because yes, we have money, but don't we also have a loan out? We have a loan out. We have 500000 in loans. So we need to pay that back. So I'm probably just going to go cash crop on this next round i think that's the best option so i'm going to do some planting and uh we'll probably come back with the next video and work on the hay because once i fast time a day i think the hay is going to be ready so hopefully it's ready in a day if not two i mean it's 83 degrees it should be drying up kind of rapidly you know i'm just saying so it has been tetted once i might tet it. if it's not dry tomorrow in game i will tet it again I think I can tet it again and it should help. I don't know how it all works. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video here. I need to get to bed actually tonight. <laughs> so tired from working on lights. Oh, and I smashed my thumb with a hammer today, by the way. So the Christmas lights literally have my blood and sweat. I never cried while I'm working on lights. No, so not tears, but blood and sweat for sure. I bled all over the place today. Dead bull hammer got a little little frisky with me, you know what I'm saying? And my dead bull hammer, like the head's not real smooth anymore from, you know, driving rebar with it. And uh, <laughs> so the hammer only lasts so many years, I have to actually <laughs> replace the hammer as uh, it gets messed up. But anyway, um, kind of funny, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I, I bled. I was like, Dad, Dad, I'm a millennial. I can't bleed on a project. I'm going to die. He didn't find it nearly as amusing as I did. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to do between now and next video is do some planting. And I think I'm just going to do more soybeans just to kind of, we'll have soybeans to haul, you know? That's what I think I'm going to do. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, remember I'm streaming uh, Friday night, Saturday during the day and night, hopefully. Knock on, knock on what I did. Uh, just, you know, hopefully the internet holds up. And hopefully we'll be upgrading the internet soon and be able to stream in higher quality and upload videos uh, on the second channel in higher quality and all that good stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, hot toodles.